Most people walk in and they say they feel like they've been transported into another time. Well, The Wolves is about having an elevated experience in cocktails and uh, dining. At Luniant, which is going to be the upstairs bar, we want it to feel like the bar is alive. The room we're in right now is going to be sort of a, uh, a special bar once a week. This is our homemade aromatic bitters. It's going to be an omakase-inspired cocktail bar. Flame these bitters, omakase is sushi. It's whatever they found that morning. So I kind of wanted to translate that into the cocktail world. Nice and brown. The idea is you're not going to get a cocktail menu. You're going to get a list of five to ten ingredients that I found from the farmer's market. We're going to take the black truffle setter in season. Do a flaming lemon twist. We're going to take beets, maybe carrots, maybe guava. Carrots are at the peak right now. So we're going to use some of our carrot liqueur. And every liqueur, amaro, vermouth, bitters are going to be made using those ingredients that we found in the farmer's market. This is our passion fruit liqueur as well. And there's going to be a lot of improv happening, a lot of kind of off-the-cuff cocktails. Throwing is a really old technique, not really used in America. If you go to Japan or Europe, a lot of people love to throw cocktails. We are. That is a passion fruit carrot. The building was built in 1911. One of the ideas was to make it look like it has been here since that time. People ask me, where did, it, where did I find all this stuff? Well, the ceiling came out of a train station in Paris, Illinois, and it's from the 1880s. For the booths, I just got lucky and I found some online in upstate New York. Pulled them out of the cafe that they'd been sitting in uh, since the 1920s. Loaded them up on a truck and uh, drove them across country. I love the lamps on the bar. Those are from Argentina, late 1800s. The balcony was, uh, was not there. It was just an idea that I had of doing an indoor-outdoor balcony so that uh, you could sit inside and overlook the space and have a different perspective. Los Angeles has, has such a beautiful um, old history. You know, I love old Los Angeles, so kind of wanted to pay respect to that. I think it's secretly awesome because a lot of people aren't taking the risks that we're taking to do something different downtown. You know, it's a secret, but we don't mind if that secret gets out.